problems. But but from my point of view, the 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 Neumann machine was the really the the real father or the real mother of all the present computers. So the the ENIAC was an excellent uh, production. Independently, that the ENIAC was not a, an original production because uh, the, the Atanasov machine, which was also not very well appointed in your exhibition, was the real first tube computer, and it was the real first uh, uh, invented uh, computer worldwide. Well, we do give some credit to Atanasov, and we do have on exhibit there the only remaining piece of it, which was a, a drum that was not magnetic. It used uh, capac capacitors. So we do uh, give him credit, but the one thing that I want to emphasize is that not only did the ENIAC, it was built, it was in service for over 10 years. The Atanasov machine never solved a single practical problem. The ENIAC was in daily use around the clock by the United States Army. For over 10 years, it solved problems in uh, Army problem, ballistics, weather forecasting, uh, uh, weapons, all kinds of things. So we have to really give that, that credit to the people who built it, that they, they not only built the machine, but they could get it to work and do practical work. The other thing I want to emphasize about the ENIAC is that the two gentlemen who built it, Eckert and Mockley, went on to start a company to build and sell the UNIVAC, which was another sort of improved version of the ENIAC. Eckert and Mockley were really the first of what we now consider the real genius of modern technology. That's the, just another way of saying a small company founded by a, one or two individuals with a little bit of money, and they build a whole industry. Today, the whole world looks towards Silicon Valley in California as this great generator of wealth. It's full of companies like that. The first company was Eckerd and Mockley. So we have to give them credit for that, even if the ENIAC was not a very important machine. And I think you have a point there. The, the fact that they, they tried to, they founded a company, and this was at a time when people thought computers were crazy, absolutely uh, crazy to do that. They founded a company, and uh, they didn't, they weren't that successful. Eventually it was bought by Remington Rand, and then today it's Unisys. But uh, the fact that they tried to do that today, that is the standard model of how you operate in the computer business today.